As you know, I love flat panels. I love, here's a Viltrox VL200T. I've covered these in other videos before. And I love to travel with these because they're so lightweight. They're mini soft boxes. One on each side gives you really nice lighting. The thing is when they, they uh, when you stack them together when you're traveling, I mean, I know you can go like this. Uh, and, and it is pretty thin. Here's two of them right there. That's pretty thin. But uh, I usually take more than two. So then you start stacking them other ways. But the thing is, they're actually not as flat as you think they are because they have a little knob. They have like protrusions on the back. See the little knob there? And they got this thing here and that. And when you try to put them together, you get... It... Like, all, it, it uh, this this distance here it actually goes from here to here so they look flatter than they are so I've got something that stacks much better that's flatter and that is this thing here I got four of them right there stacked look at how sm these things are a perfect rectangular flat thing there the, these things are so great uh, and they they cost less and they're look you can stack like a dozen of them in, in your suitcase or something and the other thing I like about these things is oh by the way uh, they come there it's called uh, VGM uh, K22 you get them for 55 bucks and it's not just one of these you get you also get a power plug you get a remote with a metal thing that you can click on with a sticky thing so you can stick this remote on anything you want and it comes with one of these things this thing is really cool because it is a this is so cool it's an extending uh, rod you can put this thing on a table like that and it has a ball head so you can move this thing any angle you want which is really cool that's with and you can make it any height you want up or down so this whole thing is 55 bucks that is so cool and the other thing I like about this, which I like, it does have NP slots on the back. <laughs> this is kind of funny. It's got two slots, but if you put one in there, it already starts up. And you don't, and it, you might think, well, putting the second one in there gives you more, it makes it brighter. It doesn't. It goes to full brightness with only one battery in there. This Viltrox, which is the same size, requires two batteries to go on. And the thing I don't like about it is you can actually see the, the, the dots. Now, it is kind of diffused. It's got white plastic over it, but you can still see the dots. This thing, when you turn it on, there's nothing. You don't see any dots at all. I like this kind of light. Now, these are not as bright as something like that. That's why you can see the dots because it makes it allows more light to come through, but this gives you a softer light. Now, the only thing about this is it does not have a display like this, so you don't know what you're... You can't see the temperature or, or percentage or anything. It just says plus, minus, and mode, and off. You just adjust the color manually. I, I don't know, I guess the second battery slot is just to make it run longer or something. This is what it looks like when you use one of these lights. This is what it looks like when you use two of these lights. Looks pretty good. But wait, there's another one I like that you might like even more. It's a VidPro LED 530. This is how s flat this thing, this thing is really, really flat. Actually, this one has very slight knobs on the back. This one has nothing. It's got just, it's totally flat other than one tiny, tiny little battery release thing. But anyway, the size wise, this is half the size of this one. You can actually have two fitting the size of this one, but this is brighter and it's uh, more compact. I mean, you can fit more of these in your luggage than these. Uh, it's, a, it's about, the, they're the same thickness. But again, this one is half the size, but it's brighter. It comes with a number of accessories, one of them being barn doors. Now, you know me, first thing I do is take the barn doors off because unless you're using a spotlight, barn doors are kind of useless for little flat panel lights like this. So I take off the barn doors. I mean, you can keep them on, but when I travel, I like to strip down as much weight and bulk as possible, right down to the bare minimum needed. So off come the barn doors. Now you just have a basic flat panel. And I don't even need these other accessories just the battery that's it and it actually comes with a double size 4400 milliamp hour battery that's pretty cool and here's what it looks like using two vid pro 530s with just basic daylight white balance on the camera what do you think of this i think it looks pretty darn good what do you think i think so for something that's so small and flat and portable it looks really darn good yes siree bob i know your name's not bob but hey well maybe it is who knows but this is what it looks like Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm outside now. I'm in the shade. Let's turn these on and see what they can do. They're not going to be super bright, but they should help. 
They should help somewhat. I mean, the sky, I can't make it dark enough to darken the sky so you see the blue sky. But it does help somewhat. I mean, this is with and this is without. If you were to expose for the sky where you can see some blue in the sky and you turn these on, they're not going to be bright enough. But indoors, they're definitely bright enough. You can even switch them to 3200 to match the indoor incandescent lights. This is the lowest setting possible. If I was to switch all the way up, <laughs> this is how bright they, they're very bright when they're in when indoors they're definitely bright enough they are indoors 3200 if you're going to shoot outdoors and i suggest at least using the vid pro 330s which are brighter than the 530s this, but the 330 has a knob it's a little it's not as flat and stackable <laughs> that's what this video is about is flat and stackable so the three the 530 is flat and stackable it's just a square flat box. This one's got knobs on it and things, so it's not as flat stackable, but it's brighter. Also, this isn't bicolor. If you want to do 3200, then you have to use orange plastic, which I don't mind using, but this one is bicolor and it's flat and stackable. <laughs> and it's great for indoors. This thing is only 8.3 ounces. This is so lightweight, it's ridiculous. It's 235 grams and 420 grams. So again, this is half the size, half the weight. Same price though, this one is $65 to $85 depending where you get it. Both are good, I mean both are really, really good. The thing I don't like about this one is you can't tell what you're doing. There's no readout, this doesn't have a readout either, but it has actual on off switch and two uh, rotary dials for uh, brightness and color. This one has four knobs and they're pretty flush with the back so you can't feel them in the dark. You have to put, have to put a light on it to see what you're pushing and uh, it's not the easiest to change the color or the brightness, but it's so flat and I love the flat light. So it depends, I mean, it's, it's whatever you like. Uh, this one is very, very portable. I love VidPro. VidPro is producing some of my favorite little flat panels. This is about as simple as it gets. I mean, then you see, you just put the battery in the back, you turn the on switch here. It does have a little LEDs here to show you how the battery level is, that's kind of cool. And again, that you just change the colors with one dial and the brightness with the other. So that's kind of cool. Really, really simple, very portable. This has a CRI slash RA of 96.4. That's pretty darn good. And an R9, which is the red skin tone color of 95.6. That's really, really good. Um, and it's really good in tungsten too, in, in the, the 3200 level. This one has a CRI slash RA of 94.6. The R9 is 76.1 at 5600, but 96.2 in 3200. So in 3200, this thing is really good skin tones. Um, and again, I did a video recent, just before this one, on how you should use more 3200 settings and then white balance for that if you really want better uh, skin tones and color overall. So the VGM K22 is bigger, it comes with a mounting arm and has a perfectly smooth white screen. With the smaller VidPro 530, you can see the LEDs, but it's brighter, ultra lightweight, more portable, has dials for color balance and brightness, and an on-off switch. Both have great color rendering and both are great stackable flat lights for travel and stacking. So it's pretty much as bright as a uh, Giyun 25. That's pretty much how bright this is, uh, but it's bigger and it gives you a bigger, like soft boxy kind of soft light and you don't see the not the little lights, which I really like. But the thing I like about it the most is the fact that you can stack a bunch of these. Look at that, there's four of them right there. You can stack four of these or a bunch of these in a really small space when you're traveling. That's what I like about these and they weigh nothing. They're really, really lightweight. This is about as simple as it gets. It's just a, a, a flat, a flat rectangular thing. No bumps, knobs or anything. That's it. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.